so I just want to give everybody a heads up um, just so they we can we always got to be thinking we're in our in, we're in the last days uh, discernment seeking the voice of God and seeking understanding from the Holy Spirit is critical right now so I'm starting to see circulations of the um, of these uh, photos of uh, people who are like uh, living in shipping containers um, um, first of all, these, these photos look like AI. Um, they look old. They have an old look, but they also look like a clean modern. So I would just be careful um, about this. Um, now, we have to know the facts, okay? We are finding out that the world is a stage, right? So you, we are stepping into information that they, they didn't want us to know about. So they're trying to um, take back the narrative, right? So if we are finding out that uh, some of these people are quitting their jobs because of the screaming and shipping containers, um, uh, these are precious cargo. I've made a video about on my YouTube about this. That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it precious cargo. Um, and so those are not what's in those pictures that are circulating. So you got to be wise and ask yourself the question, how, what, how are they trying to change the narrative? Um, because they don't want you to focus on what's really going on. So they kind of have these pictures of like, they kind of look like, they're kind of look like people that have like stole away, look like they're just kind of living in these storage containers. Um, it's just something off about it. We know what was in those shipping containers. Don't stick, don't come away from what you already know. Don't let them make this into another issue. We know that there was precious cargo in those shipping containers. It's not what they're trying to show you. You also have to be careful um, because some of these people are pretending to be on our side. For example, there was another video of someone saying, hey, you know, I, I think she was sincere, but I just want to flag it for you. She was like, hey, you know, if you were trying to, you had a helicopter and you were trying to help people um, in the hurricane because they're not letting people help people, which is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard of. Um, but it just points to that we are about to go into the B system, right? Um, and she said, yeah, well, you know, they, well, I got a call from the congressperson and, you know, we got to stick up for one another and we're going to, we're going to get it done. And so hand me your information. I hate to say this. We can't trust the big G people. We, we cannot, I, you, I don't know what else they have to do to, to let you know, like, I, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, y'all got to be really careful before you, because it they, uh, I think Ali Carter was talking about this. They collect your information so they can funnel you, so they can get a hold, they can get on top of it. We just, we're on our own. We need to start, we have to start listening to God, finding a relationship with Jesus and seeking to hear his voice so he can give us instructions because it's not pretty out here we are getting ready for the B system. You saw what happened to those people in the hurricane. They did not send help to those people. They're, they're, they're not going to. They're, they're, I heard that there was like, they were like hiding um, equipment. That's like, they're not taking the equipment to the people that need it. They're waiting. Why do you think they're waiting? Why do you think they're waiting? What happens the longer you don't have food and water? people y'all if y'all can't see this oh it's just so wild out here you guys really need to just just be careful just think about these things you really need to seek a relationship with with God and have supernatural discernment don't be easily um distracted or or pulled in to just because it looks like friendly fire, if that makes any sense. All right, y'all.